So before we continue with today's video, I wanted to discuss the sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform where thousands of classes are taught by world-class pros, specifically in creativity. And Skillshare offers a lot of classes that can help you turn your passion into a paycheck or even help out your side hustle. Skillshare classes are led by industry pros and there's also a community of members that are ready to give you extra feedback and cheer you on. I have lately been taking a lot more classes pertaining to freelancing and the business side of my job. Currently, I've been taking Build Your Own Business, Craft Your Purpose, and Online Presence by Isis Brianna and I really like taking these classes on Skillshare because they're not as artistically based so I'm able to like have them playing while I'm doing other things and I'm kind of listening to it and that way I get to like absorb information a lot faster and stuff so that's been really nice. They even offer classes on e-commerce and social media and I definitely want to delve into those categories as well. Now if you're interested in Skillshare you can use my link down below and the first 500 people to use it will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Now let's get back into the video. Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to another little vlog. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paloma, my artist name is Paloma the Peach and I'm a full-time artist and I like to post that sort of stuff here on the internet which is why you're watching this video. But um, this video is a little bit of a baby one, a little bit of a baby vlog which is totally cool, totally fine. I had a lot of fun filming it. As you can see here, I am packing orders. I had a ton of orders over the last week or so because I had a big holiday sale just to kind of like close out the year and send out some holiday goodies. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Thank you for placing an order during my sale. I love you. But uh, yeah, enjoy this video, enjoy this mini vlog. I had a lot of fun making it for you guys and we will speak again soon. My mom got me this Snoopy basket, so now it holds all of my most used sketchbook supplies.
So I've been working on some new shop goodies today. Not shop goodies, but like shop um, packing goodies. And you know, it's kind of getting towards the end of the year. So that's when I kind of start looking at things that I want to reset when it comes to my shop, Patreon, all that stuff. And it's about time for a new sticker and a new thank you card. And the sticker turned out really cute. I really like it. She's perfect. I don't even know if you can see it, but she's perfect. And I came up with a few iterations of the thank you card, but I ended up going with this cat. Classic, classic kitten, classic kitty boy. This is the first time that I have drawn a cat and it feels like me in a really long time. And I'm very excited about it. I think the last time that I was like really truly proud of cats that I drew and felt connected to them was my pastel cats, like my oil pastel cats. Um, those are really cute. And I really like this guy. I don't know, I wasn't doing anything specific. I kind of just drew it the way that my brain was like, draw this. And it feels really personal to me. It feels just original, you know, because I don't really draw cats anymore that much because I find that it's hard to truly be connected to it or like feel original, I guess, because there's just so much cat art. Um, and there always has been. Like cats, I feel like, have always been a big thing in illustration. But I'm just, I'm really proud of this guy. I don't know, I'm feeling him. And so, yeah, I'm working on these packing goods. And I'm gonna do a few more things that I need to do. And I also feel like just making some art today. I had written down that I wanted to finish glazing my pottery that I have left because I have a few pieces that still need to be underglazed. But I don't really like to force myself to glaze when I'm not feeling it because it definitely translates through the piece so today i've just been feeling like drawing and stuff so i'm gonna do that instead of glazing and maybe glazing will come tomorrow Perfect cookies are done. I had started this pot and I realized that it looks like a Zelda pot, so I'm gonna take off this glaze and come up with something else.
because my computer's about to die, but I have to start doing the glaze now. And as I started doing the underglazes for these, I realized that most of my bigger vessels, I used the clay with grog. Um, and I kind of wanted to let the clay with grog shine through with these, so I didn't do too much color or crazy designs. But now's the time to do the glaze, which I've never done before. really really need a new scanner because I've had this guy for a while and he's served me well but I've been wanting to get a bigger one for a long time and just like one that the software that comes with it is a lot better because the software for this one is horrible and very annoying so I'm in the market for a new scanner All right, nothing like some harsh lighting. So I brought you guys here because I wanted to show you my dipped pieces. Um, as you guys saw, I did not show you yesterday and that was because my camera died. Um, but good thing because it was a struggle. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sponge off the bottom glaze because you don't wanna glaze your bottom. It'll fuse to your kiln and then you'll just have to destroy your piece to get it off. So these guys are nice and dry. They went on blue and then they dried out like this powder blue color, like almost white. And they're gonna fire clear. And they're just gonna give a nice protective layer to our uh, our underglazing, all our fancy painting that we did. Okay, so, I'm gonna sponge these guys off. So I'm gonna do this while simultaneously saying goodbye to you all, thanking you for watching this studio vlog, even though it was a little bit shorter than maybe some of you would like, but I kind of enjoyed filming it a little bit shorter. I think it puts a little bit less pressure for me, honestly. I tend to fall into some bad habits when it comes to filming for YouTube guys. Sometimes feel a lot of pressure and start to like force myself to do art things just for the sake of the video, which is not fun, I will say, and leads to burnout. A little bit of advice for you guys. Don't do what I do. Um, so yeah, I had a fun time like filming this and just kind of accepting what I was doing and accepting it as good enough because that's how I used to make studio vlogs. If you have been watching me for an extra long time. Firstly, I love you. Second of all, um, you know that my studio vlogs used to be a lot shorter. I feel like they used to be a lot more simple, yet they were more popular. It was a different time then. Pandemic times were different times, so we all know that. But I think it's also just like, I was having more fun, you know? Like I wasn't really caring about what my videos looked like honestly which it shows you know video quality has improved editing quality has improved but yeah like i said i wasn't really caring too much about how long my videos were which was pretty awesome 
you know, no pressure, having fun. So I'm trying to get back to that. Thank you for watching. I've been too scared to make shorter vlogs because I'm scared that nobody will like them, but kind of letting go of that anxiety and just making what I want. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for making it to the end. And I will see you guys next week.